Okay, billboard referendum on, uh, at the next city council meeting, this is gonna come up. Let's just review this a little bit, make sure we all know exactly what it's all about. This is the deal. Advertised originally as a billboard relocation program. All right? Uh, it is a joint, it was a joint venture by All Vision, Metro, and the city of Santa Clarita, all three of them. The deal was to take down the 62 billboard structures along the Metro right-of-way, which is 118 billboard faces. And in exchange for that, put up 65-foot electronic billboard structures on city-selected sites. And uh, there were two on Highway 14, one on Highway 5, six 14-foot, I'm sorry, 48-foot by 14-foot faces managed by All Vision. And uh, then there would be a three-way split of revenue. Metro gets a chunk, All Vision gets a chunk, and we get a chunk, and, and they kept talking about this right around half a million dollars a year. That was the original deal. The problem, Metro and All Vision and the city didn't own those billboards. 60 of the large structures are owned by Clear Channel and CBS. 22 of the small structures were owned by Edwards Outdoor Advertising, and they currently were on a month-to-month -month lease. Now, it turns out that that's not the way they got there initially, because initially Metro didn't own the property. The railroad owned the property. And initially, they had a long-term lease with the railroad. And when Metro uh, renegotiated when they bought the property, they said, well, the only way we're going to do this is to sign it up on a month-to-month -month lease. And um, uh, that's, that's where they are today. So that can be good news and bad news. We'll talk about it in a minute. So in essence, we're not going to relocate those billboards. We're going to evict those billboard owners. There's no compensation for either Clear Channel or CBS. Initially, there was no, going to be no compensation for Edwards either. And it would have put Edwards Outdoor Advertising out of business, which is one of our own local small companies been in, business, been in business since the mid-50s. And when you went to hear the initial discussion about this at the, um, at, the, at the planning commission, whole bunches of small businesses came up and said, you are severely hampering my way of advertising. Because if I don't have those small boards to advertise on, um, I, I, I don't have any other way to, uh, to really get my message out. And some people said, you know what, billboards are old-fashioned. We really don't, we, we, they're not really effective. But I gotta tell you, during the campaign, I rented three billboard faces. And I had three billboard faces in the whole city. That must be why Dante had 114 more friends, because he had a, his face on all of his four bay eight signs. <laughs> but I only had mine on, in these three places. But I went to the, toward the end of the election, I went to the K-Hits uh, Home and Garden Show at the Hyatt. And I was talking to people, and I, and I would go up and I'd start talking to them, and they go, oh, I know who you are. And I go, really? How do you know me? They said, we saw your face. It's all over town. Well, it really wasn't over, all over town. It was on three billboard faces. Not to mention the post office. And not to mention the post office. That's right. <laughs> so so it, 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 I, I think it was a valid thing that it, it, it hampered their way to advertise. And one of the billboard sites, one of the digital billboard sites, was currently zoned open space. And the other uh, site off of Highway 14, uh, and, and not only was it currently zoned open space, it was visible from a residential area. So those are the things that started the uh, discussion at the Planning Commission, showed that there were uh, people that were unhappy. Anyway, um, of those 30 proposed sites, this is where they are. The Norland site, approximately 3,400 uh, feet on Highway 14, uh, south of, or uh, east of Oak Springs Canyon Road. That was a 58-acre parcel purchased from Larry Rasmussen in 2005. I, I, I have the articles about it. It was a deal that, oh, we're going to put this in open space and preserve it in perpetuity. The Remsen site, about 3,100 square feet on the uh, west side of Highway 14, and um, formerly a county-owned, uh, formerly a county-owned road transferred to the city. And Magic Mountain Parkway, which is probably the least offensive to put up an electronic billboard, because they already have one up there anyway. I got to see it last night coming home from the chloride meeting, and it is a nice big 
brightly lit sign. Now, on February the 25th, at the city council on Agenda 25, they passed and created a billboard overlay zone. So not only are we talking about the possibility of three electronic billboards, we're also talking about the fact that a billboard overlay zone was created along Highway 14 and Highway I-5. And so there's always a possibility that additional electronic billboards, or any other, uh, right now, even if these don't get approved, if that, since that overlay zone is there, then there is a place where somebody could come in and say, I want to go put in a, uh, a billboard, and that billboard would then have uh, the ability to be uh, permitted by right. Also, uh, it, so what they did was also is that they rezoned the Norland site from open space to business park, particularly annoying from my standpoint from listening to all of the, all of the uh, times I've heard Lorraine say, we're going to maintain all of our open space in perpetuity. I guess that's unless uh, you can make a few dollars on it. Lastly, this development agreement is good for 50 years. So whatever, uh, if they decide to go uh, with this uh, agreement, then uh, we're not going to be able to do anything about it for 50 years. It's going to be, uh, uh, as long as they don't violate the clauses, we'll, we'll be there. And it, it originally talked about the stage removal of 62 existing outdoor advertising structures, 118 billboard faces located in the metro right-of-way. Development of the three digital billboards, management and operation, and the allocation derived. So that was all on the uh, agenda. And uh, who voted for it? Well, Ferry, uh, Keller, and McLean. Boyson voted no. West recused herself because one of the billboards sits right there uh, uh, next to her property where uh, she is hoping that Lyons Avenue will cross over uh, railroad. So on March 25th was the second reading. It actually was the next city council meeting. The second reading and adoption of the two ordinances uh, for the billboard reduction and relocation agreement. And here again, it was Ferry Keller and McLean voting yes, Boyd said no, West uh, recusing herself. But I, I think due to the outcry from the public, particularly about Edwards, um, the city was negotiating with Edwards Outdoor Advertising and reached an agreement to purchase their uh, business uh, and have a phased reduction of billboards for $1.3 million. And uh, it's interesting, it's, it's uh, uh, a pretty easy negotiation when you say, uh, we can, you can uh, either agree to this or we're going to throw you out and you get nothing. So that's a, it's an interesting way to negotiate. Uh, and uh, so that takes down 47 Edwards advertising billboards. That takes down every Edwards advertising billboard in the city. So uh, they're gone. And because then they were compensating uh, Edwards, um, uh, Boyson joined in and Ferry Keller and Boyson voted yes and uh, West recused herself. So now came the billboard referendum. We, we actually, we have people here. We have Patty here. Where are you, Patty? There's Patty back there. And there's Michael Oliveri. And they pretty much championed the billboard referendum. Now I gotta tell you what, referendum's a tough thing to do. When uh, you look at the election code, that referendum, it's, it's not easy. It's not something that you and I could just sit there, put together in 15 minutes, go out and uh, spend an hour on Sunday and collect enough signatures. It's de it was put in intentionally hard to make happen. And so what happened is, is the petitions have to be generated in compliance to the California code. And so typically they have to be put together by an attorney. They have to be printed. They have to be distributed. And, and I think I, I estimated that it would take 30 signature gatherers, 30 days, collecting 30 signatures a day to make that number. So over 11,000 valid signatures were needed to be collected, and you only get 30 days to do it. That's 10% approximately of uh, the uh, electorate. And so, you, as you might suspect, um, some of the billboard companies that felt um, that they were being snubbed, um, joined in, and we had professional signature gatherers here, which is not uncommon now because of the way the California code is. This is a new cottage industry, and uh, then the opponents bought in blockers to block the people from signing the billboards, 
and probably helped the, uh, the, the uh, referendum go over the top. So on May the 5th, picture of uh, them wheeling them in, um, the crew, uh, uh, headed up there by uh, Patty, uh, brought in 18,000 signatures in boxes and uh, brought them and uh, brought them into City Hall. And what, what happens to them from that point is they go from City Hall down to the county and then the county verifies and validates that they are legitimate signatures that one, that everybody that signed that lives in the city of Santa Clarita and two, that every one of those signatures uh, uh, are a registered voter. And um, what happened is they, they said, yep, they, val they, they validate the, uh, the amount and then they stop. So they uh, said, yep, you have 11,170 signatures. Uh, you qualify as a California referendum. So I just want you to realize that today, the deal is not the same as it was when it went through the city council. Today, uh, we're not talking about taking down 62 structures. We're talking about taking down 40 structures. Because 22, the other 22 of the Edwards advertising structures are going to come down as a result of the purchase of all 47 of uh, Edward Santa Clarita assets. And um, that's a question about whether this should change the division of revenue because now we own those uh, billboards. Um, and um, in addition to that, Metro has not approved the current plan. So as the referendum was going through the process, as they saw that there was turmoil about it, uh, the, uh, the county has been putting off the decision as to whether they even want to join in in the deal. So that's another uh, variable in this, whole, in this whole issue. But to me, it's not a good deal. And this is, this is my editorializing again. The program has been reduced by 35%. And I want everybody to realize, because we've always said for all this time, we'd like to see all these billboards down. But it only takes billboards down on the right of way. It leaves all the rest of the billboards up in the city. So if you go down the right of way, you'll see that there are billboards on both sides of the street. It does not take the billboards down on the other side of the street from the metro right of way. It only takes the ones down on the metro right of way, and it does not take the ones down in the other parts of the city. That's just the way uh, that was. So I think we lose a great opportunity. I think we're going to lose a great opportunity to take down all the billboards and get a better deal. Okay. Because um, Metro's 30-day lease agreement is good news and bad news. So sure, Metro can turn around and say, you know what, you're gone in 30 days. But at the same time, what if Clear Channel and CBS said to Metro, see ya, uh, we're, we're <laughs> abandoning the site in 30 days. Which means they don't have any long-term lease obligation also. So if we now, we, we, we now have owned Edwards Outdoor Advertising billboards, they're going to come down on the, on the plan that we've established. What, what do we need Metro for? We can just, they can, CBS and Clear Channel can just vacate Metro anytime they want. And what do we need All Vision for? What do we need a third party in there? Why don't we just make a deal with Clear Channel and CBS? Then if we're really interested in taking billboards down, we can negotiate taking all the in-city Clear Channel and CBS billboards down in exchange for something. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, some new billboards. And where on the freeway or where would they be located? We could make a decision, but certainly we could keep them out of residential areas. And like I said, we know that the one up by, at least I'm, I, I'm convinced, the one up by Magic Mountain on the I-5 is not an issue because there's already one there. The city already did that. You remember that? They did that for the uh, auto dealers. So without Metro and All Vision involvement, would this triple the city's revenue? I mean, you no longer have to divide the, the, uh, the revenue in, in thirds uh, because the, there aren't, there aren't three, three agencies involved in this, there's just one. So I, I think we're, we're, uh, we're, we're losing a, um, a big opportunity. So from my standpoint, uh, the city council now will have two options at uh, the city council meeting, at least. They can now say, okay, the, the referendum qualified. We're going to rescind the development agreement. 
Or they can say, you know what, it was only 11,170 people that signed this referendum. What about the other uh, 200,000 people that uh, haven't, uh, haven't been heard yet? So we'll put it on the ballot. And um, they're going to they're gonna make that decision. Now, Patty asked me, uh, you're going to have a, um, uh, a, a rally, right? So you wanted to say something about your rally? Can you give her the microphone, please? Okay. Um, hello, Canyon Country. Um, I'm with the CABB California, excuse me, Citizens Against Billboard Blight, and uh, it was very generous um, that Al gave me and my friend Michael all very credit for the referendum. We, we don't deserve all that credit, but um, one of our friends, Steve Petzold, researched the possibility of a referendum the day after the deal was, was signed by the city, and he found out w how hard it would be to get 11,000 signatures and how much it would cost to make the, the petition packet. So w it was unsurmountable for the, ground, the grassroots for the people of Santa Clarita to do. So that the companies that, that lost the deal, CBS um, Outdoor, the, well, the Outdoor Advertising Association, they put the referendum packets together. They funded the, the signature gatherers. And, and volunteers were out there doing the job also. Um, we didn't get a penny for doing it. We have the only thing that, the only advantage that we have is that we'll keep our city beautiful by not having these digital billboards. And, and like Alan said, it's not the same deal. So uh, we are having a rally in front of City Hall on Tuesday at five o'clock. The, the city council meeting starts at, at six and we'll be out there with signs like we, we were three months ago and our message is repeal the deal. We prefer that the city council does not vote to put it on a ballot be, because who's gonna be um, controlling that message is dueling billboard companies. And All Vision, the one who sent the blockers, um, who've already started push polling, who formed a, a PAC, a political activities committee, to fund, th they're ready to fight in this campaign. They will fill your mailboxes with campaign flyers and you'll get robocalls and there'll be the, all those campaign signs that, that just got taken down from the primary and just a couple months before that from the city council election, they'll be back up again. And our city will be littered with a new campaign message. We just had two elections, I don't think, I think we're tired of that. And the risk that we run by going to the ballot is, like I said, who controls the message? And the, the city council loses the opportunity, the golden opportunity to repeal this deal. And from the start, it's my position, and apparently Alan Bergman's also, that this was a bad deal from the start. And our city could get a better deal if they go back to the boardroom, go back to negotiations, and like Al said, a two-way split instead of a three-way split. So please come out to our rally, five o'clock in front of City Hall on Tuesday, and tell the City Council, repeal the deal. Go back and get us a better deal. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so that's the billboard referendum. It'll be uh, June the 24th at 6 p.m. at the uh, Santa Cruz City Council meeting. Don't know the agenda item because we won't know until tomorrow.